Hey, this is Sam. Today we're going to make this show Shogi Bond Bench. Hey guys, for this project I'll be using pine. It's super easy to get and you can get it from most hardware stores. First thing I had to do is remove the staples that were in the timber. A screwdriver will do. Next thing I did is threw it through the planer. This is just to take the ridges off. I don't have a dust extraction system, so I try to keep cleaning as I go so it doesn't clog up the planer. I got my electric planer out and planed the sides so I got nice straight edges. I marked up where I wanted to put my biscuits. I know not many of you have a biscuit joiner, but it makes the gluing process so much easier. I let that glue overnight and the next day I took the clamps off. I got my belt sander out and made sure it was even and then after that I got my orbital sander and I made sure everything was nice and smooth. I started with 80 grit, 120, then I went to 240. I marked up where I wanted to trim off the sides. As you can see there was a little bit of splitting at the end there but I was going to chop that off so it looks nice and clean. I used my circular saw jig just to get a nice clean edge. Using a new blade is always great, it gives you a really nice crisp edge. I got my sander again and I quickly sanded up the edges and I was ready to go. I took the timber outside and I started the burning process. I used a weed burner and it uses little gas canisters that you can pick up from most hardware stores. This is the bottom of the timber so I'm not too fussed on how this looks. After that I flipped it over. It's really important to keep the same distance away from the timber when you burn it. This prevents darker spots occurring and you get a really blotchy burn and ain't nobody got time for that. Make sure you burn the sides really well because this is where moisture is definitely going to try to get in. I bought metal legs for this project. The steel I got is RHS which is rectangular hollow section. It is 50mm wide and 25mm thick. It's only about a millimetre thick so it's nice and light. It's not too strong, but for a bench it's totally fine. To screw down the legs, I'm just using normal wood screws. This should be plenty strong and should last many, many years. For the finish, I'm using a one coat clear water-based polyurethane. I love how you only have to do one coat. I ended up using two coats on the top just to get a really nice smooth finish. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks.